What's up guys, welcome to the YouTube channel, cool about it. Uh, in this video guys, we're going to talk about Dart functions. I know if you know, if you've done a programming language like JavaScript, you know functions and all that functional programming. Well, it's similar to Dart programming functions. So we're going to just create a, a number of basic functions. We're going to teach you like how it runs, the syntax and all that stuff. So if you're in the video, don't go anywhere. Let's get into the video. So guys. You can see here, we already, already have a function called void main. This is actually the dot mm, main functions like your object function. You run your actual code. So any code you write inside or outside this function must be run inside here. You must execute your code inside here. So to create a dot function, it's very easy. This keyword called void actually means nothing. It returns nothing. Or it doesn't return a kind of data type, like it doesn't return a string, so it could return typically anything. So you can literally remove the void just like like a S call that um, um power function is called power power. I can say power. I can say print. You can see the syntax for the dot function. Uh, parentheses and a curly bracket so between the, uh, in between the curly brackets you're going to put in your your arguments or whatever you want to be your values or your variables you want to put in that function for this part you're going to print out print welcome to dots that's funny welcome to dot so I'm going to run this function inside power by actually calling the name of the function which is called power and we'll put parentheses we're going to put your semicolons after your function I'm going to click on run and this is going to give me welcome to dart so that's typically basic how dart function works you just put a uh, name a uh, name the function power then you put what you want what you want the function to do like a pretty net welcome to dart then you run the function inside the main function you can still remove the void from the main uh, dart function it's gonna give you the same output so let me just run this in the console it's gonna give off welcome to on dart let me just put that back there so we can actually <coughs> we can actually do something dot in other programming language like JavaScript you can do like a return welcome to dot it will work in language like I maybe mean, Python JavaScript and other languages but this doesn't work in dot just what it just work what it is in the console you can see it outputs nothing because you're basically telling Dart that this is a void function. It returns um, it returns no kind of data type. So I'm really saying void. Okay, when I try this again, it's gonna stick it. So it gives me an error. It's a compiler return can't error can't return a value from a void function. Why? Because the function is void. It really high returns nothing. So return no data type. So you have to specify the kind of data type you're returning. Like you see this return welcome to Dart. This is what? It's a string. So I'm gonna tell Dart stuff. Hey Dart, this function is returning a string. Please, I wanna print out a string. And I'm gonna do that by putting the string keyword in front of my function. When I do this, I go back to that and I write the power video and I run it. Dart's gonna know that this is function, this is a function which returns a string and outputs um outputs oh i forgot guys when you actually use the <coughs> return keyword for uh the return keywords and the function for dart you actually have to print that out unless you're using a variable to store that function like if i can say oh let me do the print first so you print out this function print power you come here, you run this, it should give you welcome to Dart. But if you can't, don't want to do that, you can actually just do, you can actually just go down like 
do set um, variable is claim run equals oh what you just do you're gonna call run when you run this is what it gives us okay you make the call run for the class string string let's see okay guys not what i thought actually so what i actually mean by that guy when you do a variable run equals power let's see if we can try and print this out if we print out of run let's see what it gives us You can see it actually gives us the same thing. Welcome to Dart. So I forget that stuff. So whenever you're like using the return queue inside a function, you have to tell Dart what you're returning out of the function. Is it a string? Is it an integer, bool, a boolean, um, a double, whatever, whatever. So if I was returning a boolean, okay, I want to return, um, put return true. Actually, tear dart. Let me cancel this out. I'll tear dart. I'll tell that hey dart. I'm returning the boolean, so I'm going to pull a keyword bool in front of my function. And when I run this, it's going to give me the word true. So if it was a number like return five. <coughs> Plus seven. I'll tell you, hey dot this is an integer, so I am going to an integer. So I think you should run this dot. So it's an integer. So it's gonna give that give me a twelve. But if I just let this like this, it's gonna give me an error. I won't give oh wait. Give it back a twelve. Okay, wait. Let me do avoid. See, it can actually pull void from the function. You have to tell that what you're returning. So, on the way, you can actually don't put a keyword in front of the function, and by default, that will know what it's returning. So, if you don't use void string, like you want, you want to be specific that, but if you can use function return a string, you can just leave the blank and return a string. Just watch. If I do return, I'm going to return hello. Uh, let me see if I return this to. After this, so you can get the idea. So, guys, what I actually mean by that, guys, you can actually return a keyword. Once you put a void, it return basically nothing, no kind of data type. We put a void in function return. So, if I actually like, let me try something new. I haven't done this before. Let me make the main function. Let me see the string. So you gave me hello, so you get that guy. So I'm actually trying to okay. Down is trying to string basically. And the main function is actually waiting to get a, uh, a string from the function to print out to the console. So, whatever you want to do, that just basically dot functions. Um, I think I want to try one more tour for you guys. I want to try uh, an anonymous function. You basically know what that means, or if you don't, anonymous function means. Um, a function and the function have a name it's like an, un, an unnamed function a function that doesn't have a name like the first version i created was power so i named it power then i gave it a parenthesis of query but so you know the function name is power another function is basically like 
have to kind of sim sim that like it has no name, it's just vague. So the way you can name you can't actually name it but the kind of convention you're using coding you like store it in a variable you declare it and uh declare it uh, declare the function uh assign the value to a variable so you can see a variable run I just put variable run equals the variable power equals print and it's trying to return After this, so uh, I'm trying to print. I don't think I can use a print to say so here. So I'm going to try that again. So you get an error. So what I'm going to do is try print this out to do the return. So I'm going to print. We still get an error. So what I mean by that guys, I'm trying to create a numbers function for you. <coughs> so I'm still gonna do it. So a numbers function is basically like um an an on it function. So I'm gonna do string as a string. So I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna do like a um, I'm going to declare this function inside this function. I'm going to say print hello anonymous. See an error when you want to call and you get an error in your console. Just to create an anonymous function. What do I have to do? I have to do. Let me see. Let me call it some dynamic run equals print local. Print. Closure, closure. So closure, 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 closure. I have no closure. Let me try it. Closure actually means the function is like is enclosed. That was it mean dot like within the function itself, not what it's inside the function. So let me see what this gives me. It gives me a closure. I know why I need the parentheses in front of the function. I'm gonna run this code. Yeah, welcome. So, I hope you guys kind of get an understanding of a function. Why actually didn't work before? Um, the rest function, I didn't put a, a semicolon after the function. So, like, I'm still gonna try it now. So, I'm gonna do like, uh, I'm giving a power. Power. So, I'm gonna create a power function. Create a power equals another function. No name. So, return. I have a, a function. I am an unknown function. I am an Get that so this is actually an anonymous function, you just declare inside a variable so you can recall. You can actually still do it like this, guys. You can remove this, you can just cut this out, you can delete this off and just run the function directly inside, and you should have the same thing. Yeah. 
function. So I'm printing out. So I'm going to print this out. So I hope you get what I actually meant. I'm just trying different coding um, techniques in this video because the, I haven't done that kind of stuff before. The typical nature of the current variable like variable power equals no fun name for the function and you can just print out whatever you want. You don't have to when you use anonymous function you have to tell the tell the sub it's a string, it's a this, just put his variable or use a dynamic uh use a variable keyword to sell. I sent to the very uh, variable can send to that um, to the name of the variable. You can just put you can put dynamic is from this uh, variable like dynamic so that it can receive, it can bring an integer, it can be a boolean, it can be a, a double. So I'm using var. You can print out welcome. And guys, don't forget the last print semicolon after your function. Then you can just call. Uh, let's see this run the ties and prints. You get welcome when I didn't print so that it does very like a tricky language. It has kind of a bit of many kind of loopholes when it comes to coding. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if then the part of the video if there's any part of the video you think guys didn't understand again, uh leave a leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer you as soon as possible. And if you're new to the channel, please guys hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get um, notified when I drop new videos like this. Uh, to then, guys, I'll see you and have a great day. Hasta la vista.